Good morning, everybody. And guess who's with me today? It's this old munchkin right here. Hi, buddy. Huh? Hi, sweet thing. What are we doing today? Huh? We're going for a walk? Yeah, we're going for a walk. All right. So, as you can see, I am over in the Wealthy People neighborhood. I'm getting ready to take this lovely old wealthy lady's dog for a walk. And do not let the bright sun fool you. It is ridiculously cold today. It's almost freezing. There's a thin layer of frost on my car just over the hill. And uh, man, it's, uh, it is snippy and cold. It's so cold I'm even wearing a jacket. And you guys know how I love it cold. But this wind is bitingly cold out here. It's great. Like you see how it's blowing the trees over here? Maybe you can even hear it. Let's be quiet for a second. Can you hear it? It's awesome. It is a very powerful, very cold wind. Anyway, this is the kind of weather that invigorates me. When I feel this weather, uh, especially in the fall, but also in the spring, when I feel this weather, it makes me want to create low-level Dungeons & Dragons adventures where a bunch of adventurers have to just fight the elements and go find a thing or go rescue somebody or go discover some dark secret or something uh, in a very harsh climb, like maybe an old abandoned castle or keep up on top of some rocky mountains. And it's windy and snowy and they have to overcome uh, landslides, they have to overcome broken roads, they have to climb, because they'll be low level, they won't have flight magic yet and all that shit. So come on, doggy, come on. No, no, don't eat that, that's a dead bird, don't eat that, come on. I wondered why he stopped, there was a dead little bird there on the road and I was like, oh no, don't eat that. <laughs> Your mommy would be very upset with you if I let, if I let you eat a dead bird, come on. But, um, no, this, this weather invigorates me. Uh, I, uh, I had a wonderful stream last night with Don, with Aiden, uh, with everybody that showed up. Uh, 3 of 12 was there. Uh, my buddy Jacob was there. And uh, it was just a wonderful Discord at Dragons. For those of you that still have not moved away from YouTube, you definitely should follow me on other places because I do a lot of fun stuff that you just can't get on YouTube. So, well... It's a loud, noisy work truck. I think he's a mower. Yeah, he looks like a mower. But anyway. Oh, look, the sun's coming out. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. What do you think, Munchkin? Huh? What do you think? What do you think, little Munchkin? Yeah? Yeah? Who's a cutie pie? I love this little dog. This little dog is such a treat. He's always friendly. He never gives me any problems at all. He's such a sweetheart. So where are you taking me now? Where are we going, huh? Where are you taking me, sweet pea? Oh, I know where he wants to go. Up here at this nice house, this lady has a bunch of dogs. I bet he smells them and wants to go up there. No? We're going over here? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Anyway, uh, today the video is just enjoy nature. Have a good time. Um, I've been making myself completely unplugged from the internet two days a week. And it has been wonderfully healthy for me. I recommend you do the same. I saw that uh, somebody that I follow, uh, oh, I, f I can't remember his YouTube name, but uh, he's, a, he's a nice uh, based southern, southerner guy. And uh, he made a video uh, just yesterday, released a video just yesterday that had the phrase touch grass in the title. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I need to watch more of his content, but, um, uh, anyway, um, it's important to just enjoy nature, enjoy what's around you. I think that, that, that it's very healthy just to go and appreciate nature, what's outside. I like to climb trees. I was talking to Oros the other day about, uh, how much fun it is to climb trees. Uh, he actually brought it up and said he climbed a tree and I was like, oh yeah, I did that last year too. I hadn't climbed a tree in years and oh man, the wind, Whew. golly. Man, it's cold. Oh, I feel my snot freezing. Man, it's, we're, we're almost in May, and it's this cold still? That's amazing. Maybe this global warming shit's pretty cool, huh? Sorry, that's a... Uh, I know it's not a laughing matter to some of you, but uh, I, uh... If it makes it colder, well, then my life's better, so... Anyway. I think that little munchkin's ready to go back home, so we're gonna take him home. Anyway, 
I uh, didn't have anything really important to say today. I was just in a really good mood. I slept well. I had a wonderful stream last night. Uh, we've got we've got uh, good stuff coming up. I'm talking to a few people about uh, doing a uh, another series of um, uh, Rising from the Ashes, uh, where, where mutants who are not spiteful mutants talk about their uh, their trip through the ashes and what brought them sort of to our sphere of things. Uh, I'll be talking to the first person I want to do a stream with on that soon. Uh, I also would like to have Phylos back for another discussion. And there's a lot of people that I would like to talk to, but I haven't quite hammered out a schedule yet. But I'm working on it. Uh, right now, I am working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's what I do. So, today and tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I'll actually be uploading this on the day that I uh, record it, which is atypical uh, for uh, my morning walk series. Usually, I uh, shoot them the uh, day before I put them up. But today, it'll be going up here in just a few minutes when I get back and I'm able to head back. But, um... Ooh, excuse me. Next Monday night on Discordant Dragons, we have the lovely Kenzie Puff uh, from Mac and Liberty. And uh, we have Red Hawk, uh, my, uh, my uh, pro male buddy. So, come on. Come on, puppers. No, that's the dead bird. Don't eat that. No, come on. we got to go this way. All right. Well, as you can see, we're getting back to where he lives. So, we're going to have to cut this short soon. But this is just a lovely, idyllic place. I love making videos here. The, the terrain here inspires me. Maybe it inspires you too. But um, it's getting so cold, I can barely feel my fingers. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this off and uh, put my hands in my pockets and uh, make it back over the hill to my place. So I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, look forward to more Discordant Dragons next Monday night. And I don't have a stream spot this week, so I'm just going to focus on networking and uh, interviewing people and hopefully set up some good streams for uh, the next week or two. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I love you guys. I will see you on, uh, what am I doing today? Oh, I'm going to visit Fornell's uh, 50th uh, episode celebration. Uh, he's got a 24-hour live stream going on right now on Dragon Synth Adventures. So I'll be going and hanging out there a little bit today. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a most blessed week. And say goodbye to the puppers. Poppy poo. Hey, look at the people. Munchkin, come here. There you go. Yeah. Who's my favorite little man? Is it you? Is it? Mm, yeah, who's a sweetie pie? Yeah, he's cute. Anyway, we're going to take him inside now. You guys have a great week, okay? Bye-bye.